today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take a much loved t-shirt and turn it into a cushion or pillow. It's a really simple, easy project, perfect for beginners. There's not too many steps involved. Hi, I'm Emma from Studio 77. If you like this tutorial, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know how you get on in the comments. So let's get started. So here's what you're going to need. Of course you can't make this project without a t-shirt. Then you'll need some iron-on or fusible interfacing. I used a lightweight one. You'll want some wadding or batting, a pillow or cushion pad, and then your usual tools. For this project I used a friction pen. I highly recommend these pens as they are easily removed with an iron so you can be sure that your marks won't show through. You can get them from stationers or Amazon. I'll add a link below. So let's get on to the project. The size of your t-shirt will determine the size of your cushion. It's important to measure the design to be sure that it fits onto the size of your cushion pad. I made just under a 16 inch cover and used an 18 inch cushion pad inner. So you need to cut out a square measuring 16 and a half inches and two rectangles from the iron-on interfacing. These will be the back panels of the cushion and they need to be cut at 16 and a half inches by 12 inches. Check the placement of your design on the t-shirt by laying the interfacing on top of the design before you iron it onto the back. Then you need to cut up the sides of the t-shirt and discard the sleeves. Iron the interfacing to the wrong side of the front of the t-shirt, again being sure of your placement. Mark out your square again with the friction pen and then cut out using a ruler and rotary blade. Next you need to iron the two rectangle pieces of interfacing to the back of the t-shirt as well and press the top edges of each over by one inch. If you haven't used iron-on products before, press it in one place for a few seconds according to manufacturer instructions before moving to the next to get a good bond. Then you want to stitch down these two edges to give them a really nice finish. Cut out another square out of the batting to give the front a nice padded feel and a bit more stability. Again, this is to measure 16 and a half inches. Then you need to pin the batting to the front panel. Stitch around so that the batting is secure to the front panel. I made this stitch line a quarter of an inch from the edge. Finally, we need to stitch the front panel to the back panels to complete the structure. Place one of the rectangles on top of the front panel, right sides facing, and then the other rectangle on top of that at the bottom so that they overlap, creating the envelope opening. Smooth it all out and pin together. Stitch all the way round with a half inch seam allowance. Note that I have made the finished square slightly smaller than the 16 inches so that it's a fuller cushion. Again, it's important to measure the design of your t-shirt and go from there. Feel free to ask me in the comments if you're unsure of sizing for your project. So now I've stitched all the way around the edge. All there is to do before turning the cover out is to clip the corners for ease of turning. Cut a small rectangle off of each corner, being careful not to clip the stitching. So that's it all sewn up. Turn the cover the right way out and push out the corners. You can also use a pointed tool or corner turner, or if you're careful, you can use a pin after you've turned it out to tease the corner out too. Place your pillow inside and you're done. This project makes a great gift for the guy or girl who has everything and isn't sure what to do with those much loved t-shirts or also as a memory cushion with clothing left from a loved one who's passed away. 
You could also change the envelope opening to a side zip if you wanted. Just replace the back two panels with one the same as the front and add in a concealed zip. I really hope you've loved this project. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you do make one, I'd love to see what you create. You can tag me on Instagram at studio77. I have some great new tutorials coming up, both for beginners and more advanced sewers, so hit that bell to be notified. Thanks for watching.